Look at intros, let's just jump right into the video for today. I want to answer the question, how do you make a webtoon with Clip Studio Paint? So, the first answer that I have is you just make it. <laughs> it's a joke. Don't don't leave. Please keep watching the video. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I was trying to be funny. But anyways, when you open up Clip Studio Paint, I'm on my computer. There are a couple of different options up here as you can see. What I usually do is I click this, not this one, I click this one. And for Clip Studio Paint, their uploads, uploading format is supposed to be 800 by 1280, like the file size cannot be bigger than that. But that doesn't mean you actually have to like work in that file size because it's extremely, it's, it's tiny. So what I usually do, I just like double my file size and with the height, I can always crop it smaller, but I do the same thing with the height as well. So, we're going to go ahead and create our webtoon file. I like to specifically make my own folder so that it's easier to find it. My webtoon, it's called Catch Me, Fight Me, Love Me. Don't look at my information down there. I don't know how to name stuff. But I usually like to make a folder just so I can keep all my pages in one place. So, we'll just put new webtoon. We'll create that. We'll go ahead and open. So now you what do so now all of my story files is going to be it's going to be found right there now also you can do multiple pages as well i usually do one and just duplicate that because i have certain settings and layers that i like to have on my webtoon so we'll just keep well, you know we'll just do two we'll have it at two we don't click anything else because i i don't really need any of this other information. Since it's a webtoon, I'm not doing a cover page or anything fancy like that. I just like to use this setting right here because I can have multiple... Well, you know what? I don't know why I like to do it, but this is just how I do it. <laughs> Maybe later on I'll actually learn why I'm doing the things that I do, but for now we're going to do it off the of impulses. So, after that, I go ahead and open up my layer. Well, I'm going to keep that open. And next, what I like to do is set my template. Now, this helps me to create or kind of like know where to place my panels. So I guess the next question that I would be answering right now is how do you create your webtoon panels? This is how. <laughs> I sound like Kelly Kapoor off of <laughs> The Office. <laughs> it's focus. Anyways, with this let me get my pen going. I'm using my mouse. Let me go ahead and get my tablet on. With this guide, it's actually the rule of thirds. It's the golden rule of thirds. I have it on my website where you can find it, but I believe I found it off of makingwebtoon.com and I just I just doubled. I have the template on my website as well, but I just formatted it for webtoons. And what I usually do with this template is I like to have my panels line up with either an intersecting part or with one of the horizontal lines. That way I know how many panels I want on one page and I can do it in a balanced way. See how that one goes there so I can just have it just like that. But this guide helps me to know how many panels can go on a page in a balanced order so it's not too like clutter cluttered so for me usually my panels I have a lot of space and usually I won't put more than one to two panels you can put you can you can do more <laughs> there are some people who do a longer format file size so instead of it being like the 16 by 480 usually it's like sometimes it's like 800 by like 20,000. I don't do that because I, I just, I get overwhelmed if I see such a long file size and like they'll just do, they'll do different panels, you know, they'll do the whole shebang on one big file. I just like to do shorter files and just do one to two panels per file like that. So you can do whatever fits your fancy. But that's what this is that's how I do my panels and this is what I use this 
guide is what I use to create my panels. Now, let's see, what should be my next question? Oh, how do I draw neat lines? So, first I have to make sure that my canvas size, keep in mind your canvas size, the bigger the better, because the smaller the blurrier. So, I, I'll go ahead and show you that. So we're gonna have, here is my brush. As you can see, it's 0 0.8. Now let's go ahead and zoom it in to 50%. Now let's create a new little, we're going to go click this because I just want one file, I don't want two. And we'll go ahead and make it, we'll do it the 800 by 1280. So you can see what I mean when I say it's just way too small to draw. We'll go ahead and increase this one. Go to 50, you won't. Go to 50. Ah, interesting. This 50 is different than this 50. And as you can already see, if we zoom in even more, it blurry. Of course, I'm zooming in way more. I'm at 150 here, but I'm at 50 here, and I'm, let's go ahead and zoom into 150 here. No, oh, that's 200. Interesting. Either way, <laughs> try to just keep in mind the size of your canvas, make sure it's big enough just so that you can avoid those icky blurry lines. So let's go ahead and go back. I did not answer the question. I'm sorry guys, I, I, my focus is just terrible. So how I go about creating clean, smooth lines for my web tube, I like to work really close. Like I, I zoom up, usually I'll zoom up into like like this close and I will draw the lines so I can get like a nice smooth steady steady detailed look not look but just I'm, I'm I have more control that's what I'm trying to say <laughs> I have more control so my first tip that well what I do I zoom in the next thing that I do to help me get those nice smooth crisp lines or clean lines I make sure that my stabilization for me personally, I like to have it right here. So, the, a six. There are a couple of other different settings that you can toggle, toggle, with, toggle, toggle. There are other different settings that you can mess around with, but we're just going to keep it basic right now because Clip Studio Paint is like a mammoth. <laughs> so, I usually also, I don't really like to have this on because sometimes it gives me that little jagged edge and you know it, it's I I use that on illustrations but sometimes I like to have like just pretty smooth so I make sure that I have this one selected the middle as opposed to the none with the anti what is that word alias alias either way this this is how I go about one of the ways that I go about creating my smooth lines I zoom in I make sure my stabilization is at a six or whatever is you, you'll have to test it out for yours and I make sure that this is at medium I don't think I have any other tips for now if you guys do have any questions on how to use clip studio paint feel free to let me know I I feel like <laughs> this is still new to me I'm trying out something new which is just basically answering questions so let's just do a quick little recap if you want to learn how do you if you want to learn wow words here's how you make a webtoon on clip studio paint make sure you have the settings high enough so that you can avoid blurry lines when you click new you can either use this file and have and create them one by one or i suggest using this file so that you can upload multiple pages or multiple panels if you would like to do the way I do mine, which is I, I do one to two panels per file. And then of course, you know, you can have more than two. I usually do like 18 and I'll usually have two panels per, per file. Also, the next thing, if you want those crisp, clean lines, make sure you zoom in and make sure your canvas size is big enough to help avoid the blurry lines and make sure your stabilization 
is at middle or test out what's best for you. This is what I usually do. And I think that's all for today's video. <laughs> I'm. It's five. I want to keep trying. I want to get better at this. I did write a blog post on my website about about how how to more in depth about this and where you can find the guide. I'll link it down below. But that's all. So I hope you guys found this helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know.